Hi DIYers, Joe from Alarm Grid, and today we're going to show you how to include a Schlage lock to a system that has a Z-Wave controller on it. Today we're going to use the Qualsys IQ2 as we have it set up and ready to go, but many systems out there do have Z-Wave controllers inside of them. There are some compatibility um, requirements that you'll find with different ones, as in certain products aren't compatible with certain systems. Schlage is pretty good. I would go online or check the documentation for your system before purchasing a Schlage lock just to make sure that it does work with your system that has a Z-Wave controller in it, but there's a good chance that it does. Now, with any Z-Wave device, before you do include it, you will want to exclude it first. What this does is it actually clears out all the programming that's in the Z-Wave device before including it and will save you some frustration because if there is programming inside of the device, when you go to include it, you may, uh, it may not work as expected and it could be a little frustrating. This lock today though is fully ready to go and ready to be included into our system. So the first thing that we have to do on our Qualsys panel is put it into learn mode. So on the system, I'm going to slide down from the top. I'm going to click on settings. I'm going to do advanced Enter settings. And to the default code 2222. Go to installation, devices, Z-Wave devices. And then we're going to go to add device. I'm going to click on include. And now the system is in learn mode, waiting for me to initiate the learn function on the lock. Before you go to include your Z-Wave lock to the system, just check the documentation out to see the process. It's all similar from uh, one manufacturer to another with some slight differences, but if you don't know exactly how to do it, it could give you some trouble. So what we need to do on the lock is we have to click the Schlage button. We have to enter the six digit programming code, which you'll actually find on the back of the manual included with the lock. Ours is, uh, and you see it times out, so I'm gonna do Schlage again. Ours is 925979. And then I'm going to click on zero. You can see the little light is flashing. And we got a green check mark that tells us that the lock was included in the system. So as you can see, the system did catch the lock. Uh, we have our ID, the type, and the name. I'm just going to change the name to Side Door. Click on Add. Side door is added to network successfully. And now we program it to the system. So if we do go back to the main menu, I should be able to unlock the lock with our panel. So as you can see, the, the latch is extended on our lock, and it's ready to be unlocked. So on our Qualsys system, I'm going to slide to the right. And as you can see, we have our different locks right here. I'm going to slide down to our side door. And if I click this, it should unlock our lock. And it did. We successfully programmed the Schlage into the Qualsys system. If you have any questions on this process, on the IQ2 or Schlage locks in general, feel free to give us a call at 888-818-7728. Head over to our website, www.alarmgrid.com, or send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com. Did enjoy the video? Feel free to subscribe. And if you want to be notified when we post future videos, hit the notification button below and we'll send you an update when you do so, when we do so. Have a great day. Take care.